Dubs, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own DIY holiday inspired paintings slash canvases. Um, it's really easy and super affordable. As you can see, I just have on a tank top just chilling because it might get a little messy with all of the glitter. Let me just not ramble and let's get into the video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Bye guys. Alrighty my love, so for this project you need some blank canvases, sharpie markers, some good old Emmer's glue, a sharp object, and glitter of your choice. And now you're just going to take your canvas and trace out a tool. So my camera did not catch the first beginning half, but I really just freehanded this tree. Trees are so easy to make as you can see. Practice if you haven't, but it's really, really simple stuff. And pretty much what I did was just trace it with a pencil and then I overlined it with some Elmer's glue to just have some sharp edges to work with so the glitter wouldn't smear out throughout the process. And then once I have the outlinings of the tree all glitterified, I worked inside and started, I guess you can say shading the inside, but I pretty much applied glue um, inside of the tree and I find it that using my fingertips was very helpful to just get into the really small corners and make sure that it doesn't spill out um, outside of the lines. So you just take the glue and pretty much use your fingers all the way down. Um, I would also recommend having a paper towel by you just to um, get rid of all the mess that will happen when you're smearing this with your fingers. And also um, some type of object or paper or plastic bag to dip all the glitter on when you're shaking it off. I decided to use the canvases that were still in the plastic wrap as my little protector. So now on to project numero dos and this is just a set of two canvases and I'm deciding to freehand my dear which I'm very proud of by the way. Um, I had different little like templates but I decided to choose this one of course my dear isn't perfect but honestly it's for me and I love it if you want to gift this or make it really very precise then you can feel free to print out a stencil but I decided to just freehand it and I am definitely not a artist so if I can do it you guys can definitely do it and the beauty of using a pencil is that you can always erase your mistakes and honestly if it looks a little lump sided too small too big you can always fix it when you go over it with your glue and I did the same exact process by just tracing out the lines that I created with my pencil with the glue to just um, have that precise neat look first without anything spilling out of the edges and then I apply the glitter on that slowly, um, taking it in different sections because the glue will dry very fast. And then when I'm done, I'm going to shake that off on this plastic canvas that I still have. And then just apply tons of glue in the middle of my little deer head and apply the glitter. For the first project, I will say I had a huge container of glitter. And for this one, I had a half container, which was just enough this deer head required the entire bottle of this glitter, which is crazy to me. But obviously when you shake it off, you'll still have more glitter left because you're just putting it on, shaking it off. So you'll definitely have some in the end. But yeah, as you can see, just going back in it and making sure it's really glitterified and <laughs> glitterified and there's no empty spaces or gaps or anything like that. And that's the final deer head. I love it. And the final step would be to spray your glitter artwork with some hairspray and this just prevents um, some fallout and definitely just leave it to dry. I recommend 24 hours. Now it's time for our final project. As you can see I'm just peeling off all the plastic that was used as my shield for the previous ones. This is a 16 by 2 canvas but I'll put all the measurements below so you guys can know. Um, and for this, you honestly don't need a lot of colors. It's helpful. You can just take the normal festive colors that you may use, green, red, anything that you prefer. A sharp object, I use this like um, little screwdriver from the dollar store. Scissors are optional. Light bulbs from the dollar store as well, but they were three bucks. A glue gun is optional along with a pencil to trace. And I'm just starting off by writing a phrase that I really like, which I think is super appropriate for the holiday season, and it's just let it snow. And as you can see, you just take step by steps. I started off by first 
putting it where I like the words to be and then I just made it a little thicker and now I'm taking a thin version of the red sharpie marker and outlining everything so I will say I recommend having different um, sharpie markers a thin one a medium size and a thicker one and now for this I'm just erasing the pencil marks because I don't want it to smear when I'm shading it in with the sharpie so now I'm just taking the medium size sharpie as you can see um, this is just a basic one and this is also optional but I did find out later on that it's way easier to shade this in with a thicker sharpie marker and it is a bit time consuming so I'm just going to show you guys like the first letter and then I'm going to go ahead and just shade in the rest until I get to the very last one. I learned my lesson and I'm using the thicker one which helps me get through the process a little quicker I may add it's just be really careful that you don't get outside of the line you want it to look very neat and I'm almost finished I'm um, shading in my phrase Alrighty, so now that that is complete, it's time to create our little snowflakes, which guys, it's so easy. All you have to do is make a circle in the middle, make it big enough because you will be piercing this with a sharp object later on to insert the light bulbs, and then you just want to make a few lines in the middle, pretend like you're cutting a pie or something, just equal lines, you can create however many you like, and then you're just going to put like some upside down triangles, as you can see here. I'm just going to demonstrate it a few times so you guys can see how it's done but it's really easy just make four or five little lines in the middle and then just insert however many little upside triangles that you like Take your little light bulbs along with a sharp object. Be careful with this process because you don't want the holes to be way too big. I ended up using a glue gun to make sure that they were sturdy. But as you can see, you're just going to pierce that object at the front. And then when you're done, you're going to turn the canvas over and insert the light bulbs. So just pierce your little holes in the canvas. And then when you're done, you're going to take the line and just individually take the light bulbs and insert it into the holes that you previously created and I did take my glue gun to just really um, make sure that they stayed on and they did not move and for this you also need a extension cord it's going to be helpful when you um, place it on your wall so definitely an extension cord in my case I'll probably need two for my room and they can be purchased at the dollar store this is the final look and I really hope you guys enjoyed it it's by far my favorite so these are my three beautiful projects I hope you enjoyed it, and if you guys want to see how to make these awesome mason jars that can be used as gifts or decorations, make sure to check out my previous video. Just click the link, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!